Did you see this story in the Hill Times this week about a group of so-called conservatives trying to bring the Conservative Party of Canada back to the centre? The group is called Is Strong Canada, and I think it was inspired in part by Maclean's magazine writer Scott Gilmore. That's the husband of Liberal Environment Minister Catherine McKenna, who during the recent Conservative leadership campaign tried to create this strange red Tory counter movement with a dinner circuit when the party was looking like it may lean towards Kevin O'Leary or Maxim Bernier as leader. It's kind of bizarre thinking Gilmore, unbeknownst to his readers, was and is supposedly still a member of the Conservative Party. But it is true. Gilmore has even donated money to the Conservative Party in past years. But that's not where his political donations end. You see, Gilmore is such a proud and principled member of the Conservative Party that he also donates money to the Green Party and, of course, his wife's Liberals. But what about this group of strong Canada? Are they actually Conservative at all? Judging by the three people listed on their website and a quick bit of research into them, then it becomes apparent that none of them have anything you might think of as Conservative credentials. Aaron Binder co-founded A Strong Canada with Nicholas Sergis after what they claim was the, quote, fear-based political discussion that has overrun America is bubbling up just beneath the surface here in Canada, unquote. But Binder had basically zero political experience before this, some time in the tour tourism industry and a strange job this past year as a producer for real actors, not people. But it was another note on his LinkedIn page that put more of the pieces to this puzzle together for me, quote, we started a strong Canada to ensure the radical populism that swept across our southern neighbors never becomes a reality in Canada." Unquote. So there it is. This is about opposing populism and Trumpism. That's pretty clear now. And it isn't it so typical of liberal activists in Ontario to try to shape the Conservative Party away from the Western Canadian populism uh, that fueled its predecessor, the Reform Party. Look, this is an attempt to take the Conservative Party back to being Joe Clark's progressive Conservative Party now that Stephen Harper is gone. And so the million dollar question quite literally is, who is funding this group? Canadian democracy has already been subverted by foreign funded groups, and this could be just another example of that. I wasn't the only one who noted this lack of history within the Conservative movement for these people who now supposedly want to bring the party back to the centre. Laureen Harper agreed on Twitter with other Conservatives that in all their years in Conservative politics, they've never run into these three people with a strong Canada. But the most frustrating thing about this group, this Scott Gilmore idea that after the leadership race, the Conservative Party needs to move to the centre to try to win Liberal votes is, well, it appears to be working. Andrew Scheer, since becoming leader, has slowly but surely moved the party in that direction. First, he refused to allow a free vote on the Paris Climate Accord motion. Then he put in an ill-advised and downright dumb gag order on his MPs and party discussing the Cotter payout on US media, just because they were criticized by the Liberals and the media party for doing so. And now this week, in the midst of claiming he will no longer do interviews with us at the Rebel, Scheer went on to give an interview to the foreign-funded and subversive Lead Now. Yeah. That same lead now that takes foreign checks, the same lead now that took those foreign checks to wage a strategic voting campaign in select ridings to unseat Andrew Scheer's very own party. But look, if there is one thing I've learned about grassroots conservative party members is that they won't take kindly to their party being hijacked. So if you're one of those people unhappy with what Scheer is up to and think that he's been convinced that playing nice with lead now and trying this moderate centrist approach as a strong candidate is suggesting is some kind of winning strategy, well, it's time to remind them it isn't. Let your MP know that this strategy, well, this is how we ended up with a liberal dynasty in the 1990s. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. <laughs>